Thanks for watching this video filled with unusual facts. Today we're going to talk about 16 of the coolest playgrounds in the world. You should subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video filled with unusual facts. Like this video by giving it a thumbs up. Number 16, Swarovski Crystal Worlds. Kids may not care about the history of Austrian crystal company Swarovski, but the company museum offers a playground that makes any tour worthwhile. The four-story play tower features a trampoline, rope swings, a 45-foot tall climbing net, and slides. Number 15, Lake McCary Variety Playground. This Australian playground is designed for children with all abilities including visually impaired and wheelchair-bound kids. It's got a 40-foot climbing tower, a 30-foot spiral slide, a zip line, wheelchair-accessible swings, and a play boat, musical play equipment, and more. Here's number 14, Imagination Playground. Well, at this playground, here's the real deal. It's in New York City. It's designed by acclaimed architect David Rockwell. Kids make their own fun. This minimalist park is designed to get kids playing with little more than sand, water, and a set of blocks. Kids can stack, connect, and maneuver the abstractly shaped blue blocks into new playthings. Number 13, Nagasaki School. In Nagasaki, Japan, a multi-story urban school provides a new way to have recess. A playground on the roof deck of a school designed by architect Ibanoseke. And it has a climbing net that leads up from the playroom downstairs. Inside, there's even a fireman's pole to slide down. Number 12, Harry Thomas Senior Playground. This Washington, D.C. playground is math-themed. I don't know if that sounds like any fun, but it'll take a design inspiration from the Fibonacci sequence, a numeric pattern in which the next number is always the sum of the last two. The curves of the paths and play equipment are shaped in Fibonacci spirals. Number 11, Neptune Park. A 30-foot tall climbing pyramid, taller than most two-story homes. It's in Saratoga Springs, Utah. It opened in 2012. The pyramid's structure is metal, and rope netting inside prevents kids from falling more than six feet. Its designers tout it as the largest play pyramid in the Western Hemisphere. Number 10, Woodland Discovery Playground. In a quest to create the playground of the future, the Shelby Farms Park Conservancy in Memphis built a park with the woods where the kids have to look for opportunities to slide, climb, run, scramble, swing, build, find, and discover. According to the designers at James Corner Field Operations, this also means that architects are responsible. These architects are also responsible for Manhattan's High Line. The designers worked with the input of local kids to determine how they wanted to play. The result is a playground separated into different play nests with slides, tree houses, climbing nets, sand, and more, all connected by a winding walkway covered in ivy. Make sure you watch all the way to the end so you don't miss a single one of these fascinating places to play. Number 9. City Museum. St. Louis's City Museum is essentially one giant playground. Inside, it has a giant treehouse and a 10-story spiral slide that you can use to whoosh into the building's basement. Outside, there's a 30-foot-tall Ferris wheel on the roof. There are multiple airplanes that you can crawl into, a rope swing, and more. Number 8. Designed to accommodate a large number of kids in a small space at a school in Permarend. This is in the Netherlands. Walhalla is the playground equivalent of a skyscraper. The structure packs a lot of activity into a space only a few feet wide. Ribbon-like platforms run through a wire mesh cage that 30 kids can climb in, out, and around at the same time. The structure is now being sold in the U.S. too. Number 7. The Land Inspired by the junk playgrounds proposed by Danish architect Carl Theodor Sorensen in the 1930s, this Welsh playground is filled with trash. Largely unimpeded by adult supervision, kids play with hammers, 
climb trees, build dens, and light fires. The idea is that adventure playgrounds allow kids to learn how to take risks and incorporate with each other. The idea is that adventure playgrounds allow kids to learn how to take risks and cooperate with each other in ways that playing on a low slung slide with a watchful adult hovering nearby does not. The trailer you're watching comes from a documentary film about the playground that premiered this past April. Number 6. New York Hall of Science The New York Hall of Sciences Science Playground in Corona, New York is the largest of its kind in the country. A 60,000 square foot outdoor split the 60,000 square foot outdoor play space is designed to let kids explore motion, balance, and simple machines. Kids can play with waterworks, clamber up a giant spider web, ride a giant seesaw, and of course learn the physics behind it all. Number 5. Takino Suzuron National Park Playground Japanese artist Toshiko Horiuchi McAdam began turning her crocheted artwork into sculptural playgrounds in the mid-1990s. This one, at Tokino Suzuron National Park in Hokkaido, Japan, it opened in 2000. The rainbow net took three years to crochet. Here's number four. The Children's Railway Station. Danish playground designers Monstrum created this indoor playground at the Danish Railway Museum, inspired by the local railway station in the town of Odense in the 1960s. The locomotive-themed playground has a ticket office, a control tower, a train with passenger carriages, and an explorable engine compartment plus more. Number 3. Anthill Playground Monstrum is also responsible for this awesome forest playground at Clayhound Dryerhave, a former hunting plantation in Denmark. There's an eight-foot-tall slide shaped like a giant ant, an anthill to climb, a lumberjack hut to picnic in, and a 65-foot-tall watchtower to hang out in. Number 2. Bounce Below at Zip World in Northern Wales, a Victorian slate mine has been converted into an underground playground with giant trampolines and bouncy nets connected by walkways and slides. This cavernous subterranean play space has different levels with the highest chamber 180 feet from the floor. This past year, they introduced a kid's experience that's designed for young'uns three to six years old. All right, we're almost to the last playground, and this one's really gonna surprise you. But first, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave comments below, and subscribe to Unusual Facts so you never miss another cool video like this one. Number one, the Green Heart at Shaw Park. Not all playgrounds are meant for kids. The Green Heart, an outdoor gym in Kingston upon Hull, England, is an adult playground. It has stationary bikes, step boxes, cross trainers, and more. And this grown-up jungle gym is human-powered. It glows at night using energy generated by using the gym equipment. Thanks for watching this video filled with unusual facts. Subscribe right now so you don't forget.